Welcome to another episode of The Joe Show, your number one information station on the tube. Introducing your hosts, Yuhan and Yuhan. So, what are we going to do today, Yuhan? The same as every day, Yuhan. Try to take over the world? Shh, shh. No, we are here to educate our loyal viewers. Yuhan, we might have a small problem. What are we going to teach them? Hmm. What happened to him? It's right ventricular heart failure. What? How could you possibly know that? You see, we've been following this man for two years now. What did you see? Let's take a look. A long time ago, in a place far, far away, a young, healthy, fit man lost everything and was forced into a life of fast food and binge eating. Did you know an unhealthy diet is a crucial risk factor for the development of cardiovascular diseases? Yes, this increases your risk to develop an atherosclerotic block which may become unstable or embolized. Let's observe the effects of an un unhealthy diet on this man. Other risk factors include an inactive lifestyle, obesity and smoking, hypertension, diabetes and long-standing use of anabolic steroids. All, the, all of these risk factors affect your endothelial function and increase your chance to develop an unstable block in your arteries. Yes, I get it. Risk factors everywhere. But what are the actual causes of right heart failure? The two most important causes are left-sided heart failure and pulmonary hypertension. Some less common causes include right ventricular ischemia, uh, sepsis, tricuspid stenosis, and pulmonary embolism. Well, I feel like my right heart will fail any moment after all those causes. How many people suffer from this condition? According to a study done in 2006 in the Chris Hani Baraguanath Hospital, 90% of all the patients had more than one cardiovascular risk factor. 33% of all the patients had hypertensive heart failure. That means one in three. Twenty-seven percent of all the patients presented with right heart failure, while fourteen percent had isolated right heart failure. As you can see, a lot of people are affected by right heart failure. The survival rates for heart failure are 72 to 75 percent one year after an event, but decreases to 35 to 52 percent after five years. Women also have higher survival rates than men. That's some intense numbers you got there. How would I know when I have right heart failure? Time for a commercial break. Stay tuned to find out how you can spot right heart failure. So. The new spider extra dry. Too dry to drink. Teasons is applied. And we're back. Let's find out some of the signs and symptoms of right heart failure. Some of the easiest ways to recognize right heart failure is to look for chest pain, peripheral edema, distension of neck veins and shortness of breath during exertion. Less obvious signs that will be observed by a doctor include an enlarged heart, elevated jugular venous pressure, and pleural effusion. So, how can we treat and manage this condition? I'm so glad you asked. Firstly, it is imperative to lower your risk factors. Yes, you sir. This means you should stop smoking. 
We can control the blood volume by using a diuretic or enhance the contractibility of the right ventricle by using the butamide. Drugs like ACE inhibitors and beta blockers can be prescribed. Mm. Mm. What's this damn rock doing there? Stupid bug. Where's my bugger? I want my bugger. So you on? I suppose we got this diagnosis wrong. Yeah, I think. <laughs> So, that concludes another episode of The, the Joe, Joe Show. Show. That's a cue, Johan. So, this man lives to die another day. Thank you for tuning...